If you're autistic on Halloween, you can use a blue Oh! We shouldn't have to disclose our autism publicly for everyone to see. We should be able to have an orange pumpkin like everyone else or whatever we want. But how will we know who- You don't have to know. Just be kind. Well, they didn't say trick or treat or even thank you. They're non-speaking. Oh, isn't she just so shy? Would you feel comfortable saying that to an adult stranger on the street? It's pretty rude. They're entirely too old. Are you too old to enjoy dressing up or eating candy? Don't be judgmental or stingy. Well, that person won't even come up to my house. They're afraid of your dog. Think about giving out treats at the end of your driveway. That makes it more accessible to wheelchair users and others with mobility restrictions, too. They put their nose up in my candy. They have dietary sensitivities and can't eat what you bought. Try offering allergy-free treat options in a separate bowl. You can even offer non-edible treats like glow sticks and bracelets, bubbles, stickers, and spooky rings. Headphones and sunglasses is like some people just want to take your candy and they don't even want to interact. Halloween is highly overstimulating for many, and those are accessibility aids that help us participate. Consider not using anything that makes loud noises or has strobing lights, and especially no jump scares. You're taking all the fun out of it. Really? Try giving love out instead of judgment. Here's someone who isn't wearing a costume. If you dressed as yourself, you must be cooler than any superhero or princess. Oh, you know what? That did feel good.